Clive Palmer has broken his silence following mass sackings at his Townsville refinery and revelations that Queensland Nickel made donations to his political party. Reporter Natasha Squarey joins us now live from the newsroom. And Natasha, tell us what Clive Palmer had to say. Well, Kay, Mr Palmer says the political donations made by Queensland Nickel helped the Palmer United Party abolish the carbon tax. Now, this comes as he and the company have come under very heavy criticism after 237 people lost their jobs at his Townsville refinery on Friday. Mr Palmer has been under pressure to make his party pay back millions of dollars in donations to Queensland Nickel, but he says it's been money well spent. As a result, the, um, all the manufacturing industry in Australia didn't have to pay the carbon tax um, and we reduced electricity prices by 10% for all Australians. Now that saved the refinery $24 million a year. Now, Mr Palmer has also rejected reports that his company made an almost $300,000 political donation a fortnight before the mass sackings. In relation to the um, $290,000 this year donation, uh, that was, was related. The report was lodged on the 31st of December. The donations weren't made on that day, and they relate mainly, as I understand it, to uh, the use of the uh, you know, offices and things like that. Queensland Nickel also issued a statement today backing the politician and thanking Clive Palmer for pitching in almost $3 million of his own money to make sure his workers were paid before Christmas. Now, Mr Palmer said he believes it's a disgrace the state government didn't step in to save these jobs and that claims of Queensland Nickel not providing its financial books during the bailout talks are incorrect.